What is up everyone? It is me, Wyatt the Scarecrow here, and today I'm going to be unboxing probably one of my favorite animatronics this year, and that is the Spirit Halloween 2024 Deluxe Ghostface Animatronic. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I finally, finally, after so many days, I finally received my Ghostface from Spirit Halloween, and as of always, every animatronic I get, I have a little backstory of this guy. So I ordered this guy all the way back on July 18th of this year. So before you guys go down to the comments and say, dang, Wyatt, this guy took a long ass time to come. Well, um, like I said, I have a backstory of how I got this guy. So I ordered him July 18th and he is finally here, but um, this isn't the same ghost face I bought on July 18th. After nine days after I purchased this guy, um, I have to confess, I actually ended up canceling my order of Ghostface. And you're probably wondering, well, why at the Scarecrow? If you canceled your order, how is he here? Well, that is because on July 28th, I ended up purchasing this guy again because I canceled my order, I got my money back, and I was able to get him again. And he is now here. Um, and it's a perfect timing too because it's August 2nd and my local spirit should be opening, so yay. Um, but anyways, I'm just so excited to have this guy Finally in like my, my barn, I guess you could say, or my second garage. I just can't believe I have his box in my hands right now. I am just super excited. So if I keep cutting this off, I am probably just taking a little water break because it is super hot right now. I would be doing it out there, but it's just so humid and sticky out, I guess you could say. But literally, I'm not even joking. It's like so hot out. I just decided to, to do it in here. Uh, I'm stuttering. <laughs> but I decided to do it in here because it's nice and cool. I'm definitely gonna have to turn on that fan over there. So if you hear some background noise, I am sorry about that. That's because I just had my fan plugged in because again, it's super hot, but we should be all good though. All right, so that noise that you hear in the background is the fan because I now just plugged it in. But let's go ahead and open this guy up. But actually, before I open him up, I wanna show you guys his box art. This guy probably has like my favorite box art ever for this year. There's the image of Ghostface. It says Scream 6 and it says Ghostface. And right there, it says that you can change out his hand with the knife and the um, head with the blood stains on it, or you could just change out the head and the knife. Um, and that is another cool thing about this animatronic. I love how you can change out the head and his weapon. Now, for some reason, the two weapons he has is obviously his iconic knife, and for some reason, a machete, which I really don't know why because we never seen Ghostface wield a machete before, but it is what it is. It's still cool. Now, real quick, if if I'm sweating, I'm sorry. It's still hot out, even though I'm in my garage right now. It's just super hot out, but just bear with me here. Um, and then I'll actually pick this up right here. Here's another side of the box. This is the other side. It has another image of them. And um, this other side, which is probably my favorite side of the box, is this. It has two pictures of both of the masks, two pictures of the weapons, and another image of him in action. And I, I am just super excited to open this guy up. So, enough talk. Let's open him up. So, I have not peeked in this box yet, so this is my first time opening it up. And along with every other animatronic this year from Spirit, they have this slide out box, and this is the first thing that you'll see. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, this guy has a slide out box, but I actually prefer that because it makes it more protected in there and everything, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to lay this guy down to get him out. All right, we're now pulling out the box. Dang, okay. Whoa, okay. So his arms are actually pretty small. But let's just start taking everything out of the box. So, first things first, we have his beautiful instructions. Very, very nice, but I'm probably not gonna be using them though, but there are the instructions. Next up, we have the hand with the knife. We're gonna take this out of the plastic right here. And the cool thing about this is that this is actually foam. So um, if you get hit with it, it won't be painful. But as you can see, I'm hitting my hand with it and it's bending. So yeah, really, really nice. And the hand is a very hard plastic. I love how reinforced this is. Like, look at this. Like that is really, really nice. That's a good quality right there. And this prop is made by Party Time, which is surprising. 
Yeah, there it is. This is a very cool arm. So this is the hand that I'm going to be using on Halloween day because again, you never see Ghostface wielding a machete, but I, um, I plan on having this guy displayed with this hand and the aged mask, but I will still demo him with the um, bloody mask and the machete just to show you what it looks like. But there is the hand with the knife. Speaking of the machete, here is the machete with the hand right here. So there it is. The machete is also a foam. Really, really nice. The blood on it is okay. It's not the best, but it is good. Still very, very cool. But again, like I already said, I will demo him with this as well. And there's the welding on that as well. Super freaking good. But yeah, there is the hand with the machete. Next up, we have his clothes with his belt and his sandbag, which I'm actually gonna take out. And ooh, this actually feels good. All right, here is the robe. And dang. Again, I have not seen this guy in person, so I don't know how big he is. There it is, though. Oh, I think this hood's inside out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there it is. There is the robe. Right here is his sandbags, and he actually does have four zip ties. And his sandbags are right here, and his belt is actually wrapped up with it. So don't forget about that, like what Jaden the Hunter did. <laughs> but there is, um, whoops. There is his belt and his sandbags, which I probably won't be using. And now we have the heads. This is the aged head. Oh my God, this is the one I'm gonna be using. All right, here is the big reveal. Holy crap, this thing is, dang, okay. Okay, so this thing is super freaking cool in person. It's a nice hard plastic. Here's the back of it, it's labeled H. But that is nice, that is super nice. Holy crap. The detail of this thing in person is insane. In the pictures from Spirit's website, um, it doesn't really look that good in my opinion, but I feel like that in person, the details on it just pop out more. Um, in the videos, it just looks so shiny, but this is super freaking cool. Oh man, I'm so excited. But yeah, there is one of the heads and now we have the other head. This is the one which is clean, but it has blood stains on it. So let's check this one out. Dang. Okay, so the in real again in real life it just looks so cool. There's the back of the head too. It is labeled G, G almost said J. But yeah, here is the other head. This looks super freaking cool. I love the blood stains on it or the blood splatter. That is super cool. But in my opinion, uh, the aged one is better. But this is super cool. This is like a perma blood, by the way. Um, again, in the photos and in the video, it didn't look that good. But again, in person, it just looks amazing. Alrighty, so here is one of the legs. Ooh, we got one of the shoes. And here is one of his shoes. It's a very nice hard plastic. The detail on it is insane. Holy crap, that is awesome. It is a very tiny shoe, but it is really nice though. Next, we have the other shoe. So there that is. Next, we have his whole mechanism. So as you can see right here on the back, it is really, really nice protected with a control box, but this mechanism looks insane. There, You can see there are the two motors for his head and for his arm motion. And this guy is spring loaded. This ha guy has a spring in his mechanism. So hopefully that is gonna be fast, but there is everything right there. There is a zip tie holding this plastic cover on, so I will cut that off. And here is the control box without the plastic covering. The speaker is, again, unfortunately on the back, but that is still okay. But there are all the controls. And there's the speaker. So yeah. Next up is the other arm or his stationary arm. This is just the arm um, that holds nothing because this is his left arm. So let me get this out of the plastic. I am really, really glad with the protection on this guy. They wrapped this thing off. Like, okay, I can't get it off right now. But there is his left hand and the detailing on this is really nice. Even though it's a glove, the detailing on it, like all the wrinkles and everything, like just makes it look like an actual glove. So there it is. It's a nice plastic as well. Nice hard plastic. But yeah, there is the left arm. Next up, we have his other leg and we have his adapter and his hip hoop. And finally, we have his base. Here's the base up close. Really, really nicely reinforced. It's really, really nice. I love the welding on this thing. Just take a look at that. That is awesome. Alrighty, so we got everything out of the box. 
So without further ado, let's get to the setup. Here's an overlook of all of Ghostface's parts. There is a lot of big parts in here, so just bear with me here. So once you take Ghostface out of his box, you should have his robe, his instructions, his arm with hand with machete, his other arm with hand with knife, his left arm, his belt, sandbags, his hip hoop, his adapter, um, two heads, his mechanism with shoulder piece, his legs, his feet, AKA his shoes, and his base. So this is a very, very simple setup. So I don't even have to use the instructions because I've seen so many videos already. But yeah, this looks like a really, really simple setup. So without further ado, let's set up the deluxe ghost face. All right, so let's go ahead and start putting them together. So first things first, you want to take his base, put it in a spot where you want to have them. And next you want to go ahead and take his shoes and slide them over. And I do want to show you that on the back there is hand cut like squares on the back. So it's easy to put them on because of the um, supports that are on there. And it goes just like that. You wanna make sure that this part of the base um, is facing um, the front. Now you wanna go ahead and take the legs and make sure that this bent part is facing up. Like that, just like that. So before you go ahead and add his mechanism, you wanna take the hip hoop and put it under here and put it on before you put the mechanism on the legs. This makes it much easier. That's what it should look like. You also wanna make sure that the control box and the speaker are facing the back. So you can easily snap lock it on, just like that. So, so far so good. He is looking really, really good. So once you get the mechanism on, you wanna take this spring and you're gonna find this connection right here. Um, it does have, it will focus, sorry. There is a hole and you wanna go ahead and take the hook of the spring and put it on there. This is important because this is what is gonna make his arm to move. This is what the spring should look like when it is in the hole. Now you wanna go ahead and take the robe and just drape it over the whole um, body. Real quick, I just wanna say that this is very, very nicely padded and this quality of this robe is super awesome. But real quick, I wanna show you guys, make sure that the sensor is facing the front. There is going to be a wire connection that is red, yellow, and black. Now that I got the clothes on, I wanna show you the controls. So right here is the speaker. As you can see there is his volume control, his adapter jack, his speaker jack, you have step pad jack right here. You got this um, switch right here for step pad off and sensor. I'm going to be putting this guy on a sensor. But yeah, and right here for the sensor, you're gonna connect the wire coming from the control box and the wire coming from the sensor and you're gonna connect them just like this. Now this is a good time to go ahead and add his belt. For adding Ghostface's belt on each side, there are Velcro strips that you wanna locate on each side and on the belt, there are gonna be Velcro strips right here on the inside as well. That is where the belt is gonna go. Now this is a perfect time to go ahead and add his arm with the weapon. Again, like I already said, I'm going to be using the hand with the knife, and then later on I will display him with the machete and the bloody mask. But as of right now, you're going to attach the hand with the knife. For to do that, find the fork connection and find the fork connector that is up here in the sleeve. You just wanna go ahead and roll it up and that is where you're going to connect it. There is Velcro at the bottom of the sleeve too by the wrist. So I'm gonna get in here. Once you got the arm on, you wanna go ahead and take the Velcro strips that are at the bottom of the wrist and go ahead and connect them just like that. Real quick to note, this is not poseable. So if you wanna go ahead and pose it a little bit, be careful because you don't wanna break the welding. Now we're gonna go ahead and add his left arm and just letting you guys know, this is the one that is poseable, just not the ones with the weapon. So just like with the other arm, find the fork connection and go ahead and connect your other arm just like so. So when you get the left arm connected and when you have it posed to your liking, this is my exciting part. You're gonna go ahead and take one of the heads and easily connect it right here. This is the connection right here. It's just gonna sit in there to make it easy to pop back out if you wanna change out the heads. Holy crap, he is looking awesome. All right, and now you're gonna go ahead and put up the hood. And holy crap, you guys, here is Ghostface, all set up and ready to go. He looks awesome. He is a lot bigger than I thought. He is huge. He's a little bit tiny. His arms are tiny, but that is all right. I don't care. This guy is looking amazing. He is 
so freaking cool looking. All right, so I'm gonna get this guy plugged in and we can get to his demo. So without further ado, let's get to the demo. All right, everyone, here is Ghostface in all of his glory. Dang, he looks so freaking cool in person, I can't get over it. But I got him connected to his adapter and we're gonna go ahead and plug him in. Oh, crap. All right, he's on sensor right now. I have him all the way up. Here we go. Oh, holy crap. Did you miss me? Oh my God, that is awesome. Holy crap. It is so freaking fast. Okay, let's give him one again. Dude, I love his head tilting. You teach a class about slashers, and you still walk into a dark alley. Alone. He is absolutely awesome. I cannot get over it. I love how he has phrases from the movie. All right, let's get a sensor going again. Dude, I love the stabbing. Okay, now I'm gonna demo him with the other mask and with the machete. And here is Ghostface with the other mask and with the machete. Let's get him going. Yeah, the machete is cool, but again, I'm not going to use it often. But there it is, though. Let's get on again. You teach a class about slashers, and you still walk into a dark alley alone. Let's get him going again. I want to see if he can say the, now I see something red. Put that back up a little bit. Hello? There we go. Now I see something red. <laughs> All right, everyone. So that was the Spirit Halloween 2024 Deluxe Ghostface animatronic. What do I have to say about him? Holy crap, you guys. He is awesome. This is an awesome licensed animatronic. And the cool thing is, I don't get a lot, a lot of licensed animatronics. And this is probably the best one I own so far. He is absolutely amazing. I really love his animation. I really love his detail on his mask and even on his gloves. I also love how you can change out his head and his knife with a machete, which I still kind of confused on with a machete, but I don't care. He is super awesome. I absolutely love him. And even with the machete and the bloody mask, he is still super cool. I actually like him like that too, but this is the way I'm going to have him display on Halloween. But he is absolutely amazing. I cannot stop saying that enough. He is absolutely phenomenal. He is super cool and I highly recommend him. If you guys did not get this guy when you were at flagship, then what were you doing? Even though I didn't go to flagship this year, I know some friends of mine that went to flagship, but if you did not get this guy, then what is wrong with you? Seriously, like this guy is awesome. That's how you know how much I love this guy. He is amazing. Just the detail on his head is amazing. The knife and everything is just amazing. I love this whole just animatronic itself. He is super freaking cool. This guy is definitely my number one favorite this year from a Spirit Halloween. Probably just for this year in general. He is just super cool. I love everything. His quality is super nice too. He is super sturdy. I love the reinforced welding on him. He is awesome. I just, I can't get over him enough. And his box is super cool too. It is super big. And I, I don't know, this is probably just my all-time favorite. This is 
probably in my top tens now. This is just a super cool animatronic and I absolutely love them. And for $279.99, 280 and plus oversized shipping and tax for 330 bucks. Well, if you use a coupon, it was 319, but still that is worth it for this guy. If you were able to snag this guy this year, I highly recommend it. He is awesome. If you are a big Ghostface fan like me, then you're definitely going to love this guy. I, I just can't get over him. He is so cool, so awesome, and I cannot wait to use this guy in my haunt this year. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until then, this has been me, White the Scarecrow. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.